As y'all can see, I'm coming to y'all today with something different, to totally different than what I've been doing um, for the last videos that I have done thus far. So I make hats, I make scarves, I make blankets. I, I do it like everything. So, you know, this is the time of the year for, you know, the scarves, the hats, and um, the blankets. But, you know, in, in my region, like where I'm at, you know, and I know other places always use them anyway. So I just want to show you all how I make my pom-poms. I make pom-poms in so many different ways that it, it's like, it's ridiculous because it's like, I can be on a whim. I can be making a hat. Um, if I don't have my materials like right there at me that I need to make the pom-poms, I'll just get creative and do something. But the most um, things that I do use, I use this, I cut this with this cardboard right here and I had my ruler. Oh, it's over there. But I measure this. This is three inches. So this would be a three inch pom pom that I'll be making from. I'm going to show y'all today how I make this three inch one with the cardboard. And then I have this one, which is four inches this way, which is a four inch pom pom. Okay. So I like the. These, I make pom-poms all different ways. Like these ones, they, they're they uniform, more or less. <clears throat> this one is the ones, this is how I used, well, I still do make them like this, but this is how I used to make them. And I would um, like uh, tie them inside the hat so they can be like, I'm sorry, on top of the hat so they could be like secure to the hat. You couldn't take them off or anything. So I, I found out like when I was doing that, I was having problems when I washed the kids um, hats and stuff, the pom-poms would be all funky looking. I'm like, well, how do I fix that? So um, I don't do them. I'm going to show you how I do them. I don't do them like this. Well, I still do them like this, but not by sewing them. And unless someone wants it done that way, if someone wants me to sew the pom-pom on, I will do that. Okay. And this is one. I did this one also because, like I said, I like to make pom poms all different kinds of way. Everybody don't. Everybody have different tastes. Like this pom pom, I mean, it's uniform. This one is kind of messy. I like I like both looks. I mean, I don't particularly care if it looks like this or this. It just just depends on the mood I'm in. Okay, so I'm gonna put these to the side, and then, okay, this one, and this one. this is the way I make them now. Like the these are, like I've been cutting them around them, I've been shaking them, I've been poofing them. Okay, and what I do is I put elastic on them now. So, therefore, they can be taken off and put on. So, what I mean by that, and also like with this one, this has three different colors in it. Um... If this has elastic, you can always puff them, poof them, whatever. See, even with these, if you want to wash these instead of throw them in a the washing machine, what I do is I I put them inside of um some warm soapy water inside of, well, not soapy, but, you know, dish detergent, I mean, I'm sorry, laundry detergent, wash them around, you know, rinse them, down them, and then throw them in a the dryer, and they're poofed. Okay, back up. And this one, the same thing, has an elastic band on it. This one elastic band so let me show you what i'm talking about okay this is this is i love making beanies i do so this one is a very very thick beanie like this has three different um um uh, what do you call it um yarn yarns that i used okay so what i do is inside of my hats I sew in a button. Okay, this particular particular pom pom, see, it has the elastic on it. So the fun part about that is you can remove it. And just come in here, you take this. I didn't double that one. Okay. And there's the pom pom. Pom pom hat. So, say for instance, 
you don't want a pom-pom this size. You want, like, one day you want a pom-pom this size because that's what you're feeling, okay? Then you say, okay, another day, okay, I want a pom-pom this size. I want it a little bigger, you know, to give it a different look. So, you take the crochet hook, and this is what I like to do. I go in the middle, because this one has a hole, you know. So I go in the middle, and I'll take this, I will hook it to the crochet hook, pull it, you see it coming out, it comes down through, okay, now you have a grip on it, and I make them kind, kind of small because I want so to be able to do this, okay, I don't know if you saw that, okay, so you take the, and you go around, and I like to double them, and you come back across. Sorry, my hand's in the way. And you come back across with it. Let me show you again. Because my hands might have been in the way. Okay. So the loop is up. Do it to the side. The loop is up. All you do is go across. You see, open this up. Go across the button. See how we're doing? We're going across the button. You grab. I grab from this side. And I twist. You see that you twist and then I'm sorry didn't mean to put my hand in. once it's twisted you go back across it and let it go so therefore shake your pom-pom and you have a pom-pom on the top of your head Can make a, I think I, this one needs to be a little tighter because this is a real thick hat. So, you know, I'm thinking that that little one do look better on it, but it is a thick hat. So I need to make that pom-pom so it will be tighter. And all I'm doing is picking up the loop and pulling it tighter. Okay. So now it's not going to go nowhere. It's poofed. So now that's a totally different look to this hat versus the little pom-pom on it to the big pom-pom on it. Okay. So say for instance, I'm like, okay, well, I'm not feeling all those colors today. So you don't really, you know what? You don't really need a crochet hook to do this, to take it off and stuff. If you have a darning needle or something, you can do, do it with that also. So I'm taking this back off. The same way I put it on, I'm taking it off. See? Bam. There it goes. Okay, so I want a white one on it today. So the white one has the hoop. I go in. With my hook, I latch it, I pull it through. See, this one is kind of long too. So, so it's in there, I latch it, I put it across, I twist, I pull it across. Now, I know it's gonna need to be tight, so I twist again. There it goes. So now when I shake it, poof my head up. A totally different look. Now it's a white pom-pom. Versus having a small one at first and then putting that one that is with it and this one has matching colors to it. So that's the way I do my pom-poms. So even, like, just say for instance, if you want, uh, I'm sorry, I'm just all over. So, you know, some people like different colors and stuff. So, say for instance, you don't want the white one. You don't want the same color ones. You want something totally different. Like, oh, I just feel like being different today. Okay, so we have no problem with that. We just take the pom-pom off, put that to the side. Here's a gray pom-pom. Okay, I want to do a gray pom-pom. It doesn't really match. I mean, it's gray in the hat. It doesn't really match. Oh, wrong hole. It doesn't really match, but 
you can get away with it because it's yours and you can do whatever you want to do with your head. Okay? So, once again, across, twist, across, twist, and across. So now, you do the puff, puff, puff. You have your hat with the gray pom pom versus this one, this one, or the white one. So it's all in preference of what you like, what you want, um, and that's the way I make them. Now, this is the way I make them. Because like I said before, um, I'm just gonna, no, I'm gonna take this off because I wanna show something else. Okay, so now I'm taking it off. So now I'm just gonna sit this to the side because I wanna show you this. Okay, with this one that I made, it's the same way. Inside, it has the button also with the pom-pom. This one, I mean, if you wanna change this pom-pom to the white, I think that might be cream, I don't know, white or whatever, change it, cream, change it. This one I call my um, winter white. And this one, I think, yeah, this one has a button also. So if you if you have this white hat and you wanna change it out, put a gray ball on it. You can do the gray ball. If you want to do this color ball, you can put that color ball. See, I, and I like I said, I do the pom-poms in all different ways. Like this one is like a, uh, it's not cut down so far, so it's not really, uh, I don't know how you I don't know how you would say it, but it's not as it's fluffier than this one. You see? And I didn't use as many um rounds like when I rounded it. So I like that look. I like this look. It it all depends on the person. I like this one. Did I put a button in this one? Okay, the, let me show you this one first. And here's another gray one that I did. And that one has a button also. Okay, so we're gonna put that to the side. I'm just, I'm trying to go through this real quick because I want to show y'all how I do these. I just have to remember what I'm doing. So, okay, it's two hats, I mean, okay. So with this one, this is my, <laughs> I love this hat. This is like one of the go-to hats. It's my hat. I wear it the way I want. I don't care. Like it has blue, a lot more blue on this side versus this side. I put a little bit of white in it to give it a little color. Because if you want to wear it this way and then people are coming towards you, they'll see that little bit of white. Okay, if you don't want the white showing, they'll see you from behind. And this is one of the ones also that is not um, cut down as much as this one. So it's kind of scraggly. I, I call it scraggly, but it's not scraggly. I love it because you can just poof, poof, poof. Okay. And then this one also does not have a button. This is one of the ones that I sewn in. Okay. So, and that's how I used to do them, but now like I said, this is the way I'm doing them now with the elastic. So today I'm going to be making um, the pom-pom for the top of this beanie that I just made. Okay. And I think I'm going to do the three inch one for this. I'm gonna make a three inch one for this one, okay? All right, so to get started, oh, and also, this is what I do to sew the buttons in. And then I'm just gonna thread this on here. Now, 
this is how I do my buttons. Everybody do things differently. This is just the way I do it. I mean, y'all are completely fine to do it the way you want to do it. And I'm done with that. So now the button is on. So you have the button. This beanie. All it needs is a pom-pom. And I can't remember, did I say I was gonna do the three inch or the four inch pom-pom for this? I can't remember. Let's see, let me see that. Four inch, three inch. Let's do the three inch. So the way I do this, I cut a piece of yarn that's gonna be about 12 inches so I'm gonna cut that I lay this yarn that I just cut I lay it here let me move this hat so you can see so I lay the yarn here so while the yarn is laying here is because I'm gonna wrap on this side and even if I wrap across here, when I go to pull, it'll pull. So I won't have to be trying to thread anything through it. Okay, so this is the what I use. I use elastic, um, I'm going to call it elastic string. So I use elastic string, and I cut them down small. Just so I can have some more hands, so when I know I'm doing a project. Let me use uh, this one. So what I do... There's probably other ways or different ways you can do it, but this is the way that I see fit for me and for me to do it, and it works. So that's what I go with. Okay, so this is probably about, uh, I want to say six inches or so. So then... I I want to look, I look at it here because I'm, I'm very, a visual person. I don't really do too much measuring or whatever. It's just on a whim. I'm, that's why my stuff is called handmade. When I hand make it, it's handmade by me. And, you know, and I try to tell people everything that I do is not the same. Like I can do a hat. They might look the same, but they're not the same. It's something that's always different, you know, not, not by a lot, by, you know, just a little. Okay. So I'm thinking that this right here is going to be enough for me. So when I stick it through the hat or for anyone that gets a hat, it'll be enough to be able to loop it around twice on that button. So I'm going to take it, just make it a knot, take it, go around, place it through both strings and make a knot. See, and then, then when I do that, because my hands are kind of big, so I have to look and adjust. So that's about right. So I'm going to pull and tug. I'm going to pull like this to make sure it's tight. And then for me, I just like to be extra cautious. I'm just going to make another knot. Actually, I'll make two knots. I just like to be extra cautious. There's and everything to be safe. It's not gonna fly off your head when a windy day come and you got your poof up on top of your head. Nope, we don't want that. Okay. So now I'm pulling tight. That's secure. That's secure. So now that it is secured, I'm gonna clip off these ends kind of close okay so now this is what we that was, this is what we're left with this that goes in the trash okay so we're left with this now I slip this on here I make sure 
These are lined up. And this is placed here. Right there. Because once I'm wrapping and I go to top, I don't know if you can see this. Okay. Once I'm wrapping it and once it's finished being wrapped, hopefully you can see this. And when I go to tie it, when I pull it over, see that? It's going to go up inside. And it's going to be secured to there. Because I'm going to tie it on this side. And then I'm going to swing it back around and tie it on the other side. I just have to show you. So let's get started. I like to kind of keep that down on the inside of there. Just so I'll know. Okay. I want it to be secure so I won't have to be fumbling with it like I'm doing right now. Okay, so here we go. We're going to get started now. I ran out of this, but that's fine because I'm just going to keep wrapping with the white because it is, I call this burnt orange and white. So I'm just going to finish wrapping it with the white. So this is what I was telling you all about this piece. So this string, and I just, you see, I pulled the string over. This still has the bunch, the cord, the cord, the extra cord on it. So I go to this side and I'm leaving everything like that. Now I'm getting ready to tie it off. Now, I'm going to pull this off. Make sure everything is coming. Okay. So, as you can see, I mean, it's tight, but it's not tight, tight because it was on the cardboard but with this elastic the elastic is down and see the elastic is hanging on see that but i'm gonna come back through with the yarn the yarn that i just used and tie it on this side it's easier when you know you're not on camera or anything so I'm going to go through that through this again. Did y'all see that I went through the elastic? And now I'm going I'm not going to do a surgical knot yet. On this side, I'm just going to make one loop to tie it. And I'm going to pull tight. You see how that tighten up? more okay now with that being tight like that i'm gonna twist it this is just how i do it and when i twist it with the just holding both sides and twisting it it's like putting a little a little security thing right there so that you know it won't loosen up if that makes sense okay get that out of the way so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie it again, but this time I'm going to do two times, one and two. This is the surgical knot for this side. So this will be the last knot that I will be tying. So I want to make sure everything is out the way. I'm not going to put that down. Now, the only thing I have to be cautious about is when I go to cut this and see this is secure. It's not coming out there, bad boy. It's not coming out. So when I go to cut, I just need to make sure 
that when I'm holding down my sides, I don't cut this. Okay, so we're gonna start cutting now. As you see, I take, I'm taking my thumb and I'm holding it down. So I can see up inside there and I'm just gonna cut a little at a time to make sure I get everything. What I'm doing now is just I'm moving it back and forth to look to see if there's any that I didn't, that I missed. I might have, see, I'm, I can still be doing this and I still might miss some, but that's okay. Because when I come back through later, I'll cut again. So I'm going to pull that down, pulling this out the way, fixing these up so I can cut. Okay, so we're gonna cut this side now. I'm trying to look through to see if I cut everything. I think I did. Oh no, I missed that one. Okay. So now here it is. Look at that. That is just that just looks terrible. Like that looks terrible. So now I'm just gonna go through and I'm just gonna start cutting. Let me get this mess out the way. So here's the pom pom. Now, if you notice, a lot of the burnt orange is in the middle. That's because when I remember I said I was going to keep wrapping, and when I kept wrapping, this is the white is on the outer sides. Okay, so now we're going to place the pom pom on the hat remember i put i sewed the button in the hat so the button is there i need to find the middle of the hat okay there we go so now we're gonna put the pom-pom and we're gonna bring it through okay so here is what we just made, the elastic, remember it's going to go across. It went across. You still have this in your hand. You twist it. You go back across. And if you can, like with me, I would do another one across. So now it's tight and it's secured. So there you go. You have your beanie with your new pom-pom.
and that's how I make my pom poms. All right, I want to thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next video.